It's great to be with you for another daily devotion. And if there's one thing that we have learned over this past year in living through the pandemic is that things can change. Boy, this was certainly a year of change. All the time, things were changing. We didn't know if we would be meeting inside, online, or outside. And it changed rapidly, it seemed like. There were masks, and then we weren't sure what to do. Now the vaccines and all this kind of stuff. It was just a year of change. Which brings me to this piano. This piano has been in this area on the platform ever since I've been here. But I want to tell you that in, I remember the phone call I received from my dad one day when he called and he said, John, you're not going to believe what they've done at the church. And I said, what? He goes, they moved the grand piano from one side of the church to the other side. Which I'm thinking, not really a big deal. He said, it's always been on the other side ever since we've gone there. John, when you were just a child, it's always been on that side. side and now it's moved to the other side. He kind of started laughing. He was trying to make a point how just moving the piano, which several people in the church kind of got uh, a little flustered, you might say, because the piano was now in a different spot. And he was just kind of making fun of that. But it's true in one sense. Change happens. There's all kinds of change. And by the way, as we come through the pandemic and we pray for those areas that are still struggling, but we're thankful that things seem to be getting better all the time, and we're grateful for that. But there's other things changing, aren't there? Well, we're getting older. Things change. Sometimes our body changes a little bit. New pains, new aches. Stark market goes up, then it goes down, then it's up. Those things change. Our children, like Leanne and I have discovered, finally get to the point where they're ready to move on. They've got their own homes. They're all married now. It's changed. Josiah, our son, as you know, is a missionary in another country. We don't get to see him personally, to be able to be with him. Things change. But here's the thing. I want you to remember today, in spite of all the change, and change will continue to happen. In fact, well, we're not thinking about moving this to the other side, but who knows what will happen? We like change. Well, we don't really like it, but we try to do some of it to be innovative. Let me read you a verse that in the midst of change is such a verse that I cling to. It says in Hebrews chapter 13, and beginning in verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same. The same Jesus who walked this earth in Jerusalem and in Galilee is the same Jesus that we talk to and pray to who is with us today. The same. Has it changed? Will be the same when my great, 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 great grandchildren, should the Lord tarry, still he'll be the same with them. In a world that's ever changing, when we're looking for something to cling to, are you not with me? thankful that Jesus never changes. Same. The same loving God. The same forgiving God. The same gracious God. The same God of mercy is the same today and forever. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you don't change. We have been through, Lord, as you know, so much change in the last year. But there's one thing that never changed all the way through the pandemic, all the way through all the change that we've had. There's one that hasn't changed that will never change, and that's you. And we cling to that. That's why you can say you're the rock on which we should build our life, because you never change. You are solid and steadfast, and we thank you for that. Help us, Lord, as we reflect on that today, to take comfort in it, in the fact that you never change. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in a changing world, worshiping a God that never changes. See you.